So this week we watched the movie Super Troopers. Super Troopers came out in 2001 and it basically stars the Broken Lizard cast. Most of them you probably won't know, but the main guy is Jay Chattiasekar. Like I said his name right, Jay Chattiasekar. And his four buddies. They formed the Broken Lizard comedy troupe. This movie is about five state troopers who are always playing like crazy antics and jokes on each other. Um, they are known to get in a lot of trouble though, that's the problem. Now this movie there's two different police departments. Um, one belongs to the main characters and one belongs to the, these other guys. They're actually competing for this one job because they're having a budget crisis so they have have to cut one of the police departments so they're trying everything they can to keep their jobs in play the problem is they can't stop having fun the whole point of this movie is the jokes that these guys do if you don't know who the broken lizard guys are and you've never seen super troopers and you've seen beer fest it's the same guys those are their two well-known movies uh, they also did club dread and puddle cruiser and i think they had their hand in uh, the new dukes of hazard movie don't hold them against that i know it was bad they were barely in that. Now, as I said, you might not know these five guys, but you might know Brian Cox who's in this movie. Brian Cox is actually their police chief. He's their boss that they have, have to go talk to. So every time they screw up, they have to go talk to him, which you see he has a big part in here because they screw up a lot. Uh, Linda Carter kind of makes an appearance later on, Wonder Woman. Very small part, but it was kind of cool to see her. She's still pretty hot for an older lady, just gotta say that. This movie just seems like it's a bunch of comedy sketches that these guys had laying around, and they kind of threw it into the movie and made a little bit of a story up around it. They take on the actual roles of like 70s cops. Almost all these guys have have their mustaches and their aviator glasses and the best part of this movie is like when they mess with each other when they're joking around with each other i think that is honestly the best part of this movie but this movie is very love it or hate it you have people who absolutely love this movie and you have people that absolutely can't stand this movie they think it's lowbrow humor but it is it's lowbrow humor if you know what you're getting into, you'll probably like the movie. Um, now, it's not as good as like Animal House or American Pie kind of humor, but it's the same raunchy humor, uh, fart jokes, dick jokes. That's what makes this movie funny. That is the comedy that this movie has. And if you don't like that, you're not going to like this movie or any other other movies for that matter. Another funny part about this movie is that these guys love to abuse their power. The first opening scene is these three stoners driving in a car and these cops are just messing with them relentlessly, pulling them over, driving away. And they just kind of like to mess with these guys. They like to mess with these kids. Um, and it seems like they they don't have a real hard job to do it seems like they're just there to have a ball have fun it's almost like a frat house but with cops and like i said their department's threatened of getting closed down so they kind of are getting more trouble by their boss brian cox is always on their ass about shaping up or they're gonna lose their job and lose the department all this and all that they try but as they try there's always some there's always a screw up somewhere uh because they can't stop messing around that's just how they are it's just how these guys are they like to have fun to belittle each other and it's all in good fun and it's all humorous this movie has some of the best lines in it i heard leader of cola for about five years straight after this movie and then i think beer fest came out and everybody started quoting that movie instead but if you like these guys if you know who these guys are then you're gonna love this movie if you don't really like lowbrow dick humor fart humor you're not gonna like this movie I thought it was a great movie. Um, I've always been a fan of this movie. It's probably considered a guilty pleasure because of the ratings, but like Rotten Tomatoes gives it like 30s, I think 38, and I think the users give it 89. So take it how you will. You'll either love this movie or you're going to hate this movie. Either way, you're probably going to have a good time. I would suggest getting drunk or whatever else you do to enjoy a comedy type movie and you'll love this movie even more. It's a very good drinking movie, I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. So this is a good pick this week. Um, I really like this movie, if you can't tell. Um, I can't wait to see what we do next week, and I'll talk to you later, Movie Club. Bye.